The world has not even recovered from the shock of the Paris Olympics opening ceremony and how it mocked the Last Supper of Jesus Christ. And here we are once again at the same spot, bewildered by what happened at the closing ceremony. Shockingly, believers stamped the show as satanic and a display of satanic rituals. Let's take a look at what transpired as the Olympics came to an end. And you might want to stick around to the very end because this video may be taken down very soon by the Olympic community. But before we get to the interesting stuff, make sure that you take a second to subscribe so we can show the world who is on God's side. Now let's get back to it. Social media lit up after the closing ceremony of the Olympics aired. Following the Paris 2024 Olympics closing ceremony, some users on social media platforms claimed to have seen satanic imagery involving a character called the Golden Voyager and the winged victory of Samothrace statue. One post read, A headless, one-winged angel ascends to the sky as a satanic golden-horned bird figure watches on during the Paris Olympics closing ceremony. However, there is no credible evidence or widely accepted belief that the Golden Voyager from the Olympics has any satanic connection. Why are Christians all over the world going crazy about the tableau? The winged victory of Samothrace, also known as Nike of Samothrace, is an ancient Greek statue from around 200 to 190 BCE. This masterpiece of Hellenistic art represents the Greek goddess Nike, the personification of victory, and is housed in the Louvre Museum in Paris with no satanic connections. Still, social media users baselessly claim that there were satanic displays at the closing ceremony. The Olympics closing ceremony is straight satanic, LMAO, tweeted one user on X, sharing a video of the Golden Voyager. The Olympics closing ceremony features a headless and armless angel with what appears to be an effigy of Lucifer, standing in gold, another added. Similar claims arose after the opening ceremony of the Paris Games when authorities replaced the biblical scene of Jesus Christ and the Last Supper painting with drag queens, a transgender model, and a singer dressed as Dionysus, the Greek god of wine and pleasure. Now, here's where things get really shocking. According to a theory made up by a user on Twitter, the ceremony was indeed satanic. She pointed out that it's no shock that the 33rd Olympic Games in Paris concluded with a ceremony supposedly dedicated to the rebirth of Lucifer, the light bringer of enlightenment. According to her, the show began with a golden voyager descending from the sky, resembling Lucifer's fall from heaven and positioned similarly to the hanged man. Here's what the director intended with this performance, or so he claims. Although it's unclear who played the role of the Golden Voyager in the ceremony, the character has an interesting background. According to the creators, the Golden Voyager was inspired by various aspects of France's historical heritage, beginning with the spirit of the Bastille. The character also draws from the Gene de la Liberté, also known as the Gene de la Bastille, a bronze gilded statue created by Auguste Dumont in 1836. This allegorical statue represents liberty and sits atop the July column in the centre of Place de la Bastille in Paris. The character was also designed to evoke creatures from science fiction and video games. However, the world was not ready to blindly accept this explanation. Russia's foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova voiced sharp criticism regarding the religious undertones she perceived in the Paris Olympics as closing ceremony, singling out what she described as obvious satanism in one particular scene. Zakharova, who has led the Ministry of Foreign Affairs' press department since 2015, shared her thoughts on her Telegram channel. The only thing worse than the opening of the Olympics Games in Paris could be the closing, Zakharova remarked, according to a translation. France did not miss this chance. The closing ceremony of the 2024 Games, held on Sunday, marked the conclusion of the two-week sporting event. Directed by Thomas Jolly, who also directed the opening ceremony, the event featured light shows, musical guests, and daring Mission Impossible-style stunt by Tom Cruise. He rappelled down to take the Olympic flag from Simone Biles before riding out of the stadium on a motorcycle. However, Sakharova's criticism was aimed squarely at the Golden Voyager performance. In this segment, a figure dressed in golden armor and a spiked headdress descended from the stadium roof, met a headless winged angel and an astronaut, and was then lifted by performers in white bodysuits. Thank you for your honesty. No veal, half-tones, or hints, Sakharova commented. 
everything is in plain text. A fallen angel turns people into zombies, subjugating humanity to his will, with time running out. Sakharova noted that after reading various articles and reviews on the ceremony, none denied the religious connotations of the performance. It never occurred to anyone to argue, you're all lying, in response to such obvious satanism, she wrote. Timid attempts to evaluate the ceremony from the perspective of theatrical art and mass event directing were drowned out by the groans of those who saw the light. Did you know that Russian athletes, along with those from Belarus, were barred from competing under the country's flags at the Paris Olympics, a decision by the International Olympic Committee in response to Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine? While athletes were allowed to compete under a neutral flag, the decision sparked anger from Russian leaders, with President Vladimir Putin labeling it a form of ethnic discrimination. Zakharova had previously criticized the opening ceremony of the Paris Games. I wasn't planning on watching the opening, she wrote on Telegram on July 27th, but when I saw the photo, I couldn't believe it wasn't a deep fake or Photoshop. She denounced the ceremony's organizers, calling the infamous feast tableau an LGBT mockery of a sacred Christian story. Another figure that some people associated with Lucifer, the fallen angel, was the Nike of Samothrace. This iconic statue, one of the most celebrated works of Hellenistic art, has been on display at the Louvre since 1884 CE. Carved from white Parian marble, the statue represents the personification of winged victory. Though the head and both arms of the goddess are missing, the 2.75 meter high statue still makes a powerful impression. The masterful depiction of the wavy drapes of Nike's pleated chaton creates the illusion that she's descending from the heavens in the midst of a storm. The fabric clings to her body as if damp from humid air, while other parts of the drapery billow dramatically behind her. She wears a girdle under her breasts and around her hips, with pleats folding dramatically over it, a style popular in the 4th century BCE. Over her tunic, Nike wears a hemation that covers her right leg and is pressed against her body by an imaginary sea breeze. Her feathered wings are spread wide as if in full flight. The statue depicts Nike just as she alights on the prow of a ship, with her right foot touching down and her left foot still in the air. The grey latos marble base suggests that the statue was not only a tribute to Nike, but also a commemoration of a naval victory. With its base and pedestal, the entire work stands at an impressive 5.57 meters tall. The statue of the goddess of victory was discovered in 1863 CE on the Greek island of Samothrace by Charles Champoisson, a French vice consul and amateur archaeologist. The island was home to the ancient sanctuary dedicated to great gods, a mysterious Pan-Hellenic Catholic cult comparable in status to the Eleusinian mysteries of Demeter and Persephone. The sanctuary underwent significant renovations during the Hellenistic period as the successors of Alexander the Great sought to outdo each other in generosity and beautify the temple complex. It was on the highest and most remote part of the sanctuary, in a rock-hewn niche, that the statue of Nike was placed. Although the statue was found in pieces among the ruins of the sanctuary, its overall condition, along with the remnants of the building near it, suggested that it had been housed in a small roofed structure. However, the head and arms were never recovered, leading some to speculate about the statue's true identity and meaning. Despite these speculations, it is clear that those who believed the statue represented Lucifer and was meant to heal the fallen angel were mistaken. As for the opening ceremony, while it was intended by the director to depict the Feast of Dionysus, it bore a striking resemblance to Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, leading to further controversy and confusion. Christians have their reasons for believing the Olympic closing ceremony had satanic undertones. For many, France is no longer the country they once knew, especially for Catholic Christians who have faced increasing hostility in recent years. Disturbing incidents have become all too common. Sometimes, it's a cross made of human excrement smeared on a church wall with stolen communion hosts stuck at the four corners. At times, a statue of the Virgin Mary is found shattered on the floor. Occasionally, a fire breaks out in a house of prayer. These attacks on Roman Catholic churches are particularly alarming in France, a country historically so intertwined with Christianity that it was once called the eldest daughter of the church. But that's not all. A fire in 2019 at Saint Sulpice, Paris's second largest church, drew attention to a trend that has become distressingly routine, especially in smaller towns. An article in the Paris Daily, Le Figaro, highlighted some of the lesser known acts of 
desecration across the country, like the sacking of the monastery of Saint Jean de Bon in Aveyron, or teenagers urinating in the holy water font of a church in Ardèche. While such incidents are briefly mentioned in the press, often with quotes from shocked Catholics and occasionally a short video clip on national television, Catholic leaders in France have largely refrained from dramatizing what they acknowledge is a troubling trend. Many incidents included a cross of human excrement found in Nimes, a statue of Mary smashed in a Paris suburb, and a statue of Jesus decapitated in the seaside resort of saint gilles croix de vie These attacks and the subdued reactions to them reflect the complex role that Catholicism, once France's dominant faith, now plays in a society that has changed so much that ignorance of religion, not just Christianity but others as well, is widespread. Attacks on other religious sites, such as Jewish and Muslim properties, have also increased but are less frequent than those on Catholic churches due to their minority status. Protestant churches, which represent only 2% of the population, have seen fewer attacks, likely because they lack many of the distinct symbols associated with Catholicism. Do you know that since the 1980s, Christianity has been experiencing a continuous decrease in France? According to a survey conducted in France in 2021, more than half of the French population either doesn't believe in God or views Christianity as not significant. The percentage of individuals who identify as Catholics dropped from 81% in 1986 to 47% in 2020, and conversely, the proportion of those who identify as having no religion increased from 16 to 40%. Additionally, the motives behind these attacks appear to be varied, making the situation even more complex. Given this background, it's understandable why Christians in France might be particularly sensitive to potential anti-Christian messages and depictions in public events like the Olympics. But was the closing ceremony truly satanic? That's a question open to interpretation. If you made it all the way to this point in the video, you may qualify for our membership, so you might want to listen closely. It's an area where we show things that we cannot show to the general public yet. You get exclusive first access to everything new. You also get priority replies to your comments from God. To learn more, click the link on the left of the screen.